up guys, Dual Sport Fan Man here, just out for a ride on my new to me KLR 650. Thought I would holler at y'all and see what was up. So, if you noticed on the uh, intro there, I do have a new to me 2006 Kawasaki KLR650. And uh, let me just say, I am loving this puppy so far. So, the story on how I came to own a Kawasaki KLR, and well, I haven't updated in a while. So, um, first off, I haven't updated anything in a while, I haven't put a video up in a while because uh, it just takes a long time. And I'm just doing this for fun, it's not like I'm you know, make it bank off of it. It's not like I'm a, a professional moto vlogger. Um, I'm not whatsoever. I'm just a normal guy riding bikes. Uh, and uh, pretty new to them still. So my GoPro uh, died on me. I had a warranty issue with that. So uh, I'll talk about that in a whole nother moto vlog, I guess. Um, anyway, around February, I was talking to my wife and I go, you know, I think um, I just... I was really wanting a bigger motorcycle and my wife goes well why don't you do something about it sell your little one uh, get a little cash together and uh, see what's out there and so uh, if you remember I did a top five dual sport uh, motorcycle video that was my personal top five um, a lot of people watched it and they either liked it or they didn't like the list and that's fine everybody has their own opinion I guess for various reasons um, for me the KLR was number three on my list but I wound up getting a KLR for a couple reasons um, which I'll also talk about in a second. First off, um, let's talk about how I sold the XT. Um, so around February, March, I put the XT up on Craigslist. Uh, had lots of interest, lots of people, you know, messaging me over and over and over. And um, a lot of people wanted to, you know, try and negotiate on Craigslist. And I was like, no, not doing it. Come look at it or whatever. Um, uh, and then I had two people that were coming to. I had three people that were going to buy it. Uh, one guy was from all the way in Chattanooga, and I'm uh, near out Birmingham, Alabama. So uh, the guy from Chattanooga is a long round. He was like, look, if you don't sell this thing by tomorrow, I will come and buy it. And I thought, all right, cool. Um, but later that evening, I had a guy from Tuscaloosa, which is about, I guess, an hour and a half away from here. I don't really go to Tuscaloosa very often. Um, he emailed and said, hey, I'm going to come, you know, I'm gonna come look at it you know anyway first guy that actually met me to look at it I think it was on Craigslist like a day and a half or two days or something it wasn't very long at all second guy came to look at it bought the thing bought it right then and there and I hope it's treating him well he was a cool guy um, in fact uh, maybe he'll see this video and we can go riding sometime anyway I hope it's treating him well it treated me when I saw that time I had it didn't have any issues hope it's doing him the same way um, so after I sold it, uh, I started looking for dual sports on Craigslist. You know, I'm, I'm a used kind of guy. A lot of people like the new stuff. I'm not rich, number one. Number two, um, definitely don't want to make payments on something. So I started looking around on Craigslist and uh, came across uh, like two or three KLRs, uh, no DRs, no XRs. Um, and I think part of the reason why KLR still seems to sell a lot more KLRs than DRs or XRs. And I could be wrong about that. I'd have to look at actual sales numbers. But if I was just a guessing person, I would guess that KLR sells more. Um, although, personally, I would have rather have had the DR or XR to start with, anyway. And maybe still eventually. I don't know. I hadn't rode one yet. Um, I also was interested in, like, the V-Strom. And uh, another bike even kind of made its way in there in my search list. The Kawasaki Versus. And it is definitely more street oriented. Um, probably the most street oriented of all of them. Um, but uh, it made its way onto my list too. Anyway, I wound up uh, calling about some KLRs. Uh, a guy had this one, 2006 KLR, had about, 
at the time I think it was like 68, 67, 6800 miles, whatever it was. And uh, so uh, I bought it from the guy. Um, funny story on that on the way home, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> anyway, bought the KLR and have been riding it ever since. Um, so that's how I've came to have had my new to me KLR 650. Um, so now, I don't know if any of you are wondering, or maybe you started out on a smaller bike like me. I started out on the XT225. Maybe you have a TW or the new Van Van 200 by Suzuki or DR200. Um, so a lot of you are probably wondering, what's the big deal between a 225 and, two, and 650, right? Um, well, first off, uh, the 650 is much heavier. And I can tell you right now, I'm not going to be able to do as much off-road with it as I could with the XT. Uh, a lot of the stuff I did on the XT off-road, I didn't film or whatever, uh, for various reasons, either I ran a battery or, uh, you know, various reasons. I just didn't film a lot of it. I filmed some of it. Um, the 650 class, especially the KLR, uh, the KLR is a heavy, a big heavy girl, um, but that's off-road. Okay, uh, the KLR, I still do dirt roads on the KLR, and even though I have on kind of like, I would say these were venture type tires on my KLR right now, bike just came with them that way. I'll probably switch to some Navis eventually. Um, I do dirt roads, just fine in it, no problems whatsoever with dirt roads. Um, I think these are the Dunlop Trail Max or something like that tires, um, and they've done well on dirt roads. On the road though, the difference is uh, right the opposite. Um, instead of the KLR being at a disadvantage versus the XT off-road, uh, the XT is at a huge disadvantage on-road versus the KLR. Um, right out of the gate, uh, you know, I felt like I was always changing gears in the XT. Uh, you know, especially if you hit a little hill or, or something like that, you hit a hill and uh, you needed to downshift. Uh, let me get back into fifth and sixth gear. Let me downshift. Um, even on short things like in my neighborhood, you get the second and third gear, uh, like in between stop signs, you'd get up third gear easily. Uh, you'd be doing like 25, 30, you know, and you're in third and fourth gear. Um, KLR don't have to change gears as much. Um, and and you, you never really have to downshift on anything unless you just want some extra power. Uh, the KLR just uh, does it. And the, kind of the phrase I used for my wife was, the XT is kind of like, oh man, another hill, you know, and trying to keep speed and all that. The KLR is just kind of like, sit down, big boy, and hold on, and uh, it just does. It, it does it, does it fine. It can keep up with traffic. Um, it does not blow around in the wind as easily, although it will blow around some when it's a really windy day because I guess it's so top heavy. Um, but so far, I love this KLR. I'm glad I made the switch overall. Um, and uh, when I get some knobbies on the KLR, I'm definitely going to do a little more off-roadish type stuff, um, besides just dirt roads. Um, and that'll come in time. Anyway, that's the story about my KLR and how I acquired it. And uh, hope you guys enjoy. Remember, ride whatever, whenever, wherever. Dual sport fan man. <laughs>